So everyone, this is Dumb is Live, and welcome to Dumb is Live News. Hope you guys are doing great. Now, Kid Cudi has had enough. He woke up today and said, cut all of the bullshit out. Cut it out. And you guys know, whenever you wake up in the morning, either you take a pee-pee or you take a dump. Kid Cudi decided to take a dump on Kanye West and Drake today. And I'm going to tell you guys all about it. Now, some of you guys out there may not know who Kid Cudi is. You guys may think he's just some bum rapper that's just upset. Now, the same thing goes for movie directors. You may not always know who's behind the camera. Most of the time, you know who's in front of the camera, right? But what I'm trying to say is most of the time, the people that are behind the scenes, they don't get the credit that they deserve. Now, the thing is with Kid Cudi, he actually gets his credit. I see rappers giving Kid Cudi all kinds of respect when it comes to the new melodic flow that you guys see today. Now, we all know that Kanye West has ghostwriters, right? And for the most part, I think a large amount of us, we've known that since Jesus. Some people knew that since my beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy, but more so Jesus, right? Drake was exposed in 2005 from Meek Mill when he found out that the verse that Drake sent him, it was a verse that was made by Quentin Miller, who was also behind the scenes of, if you're reading this, it's too late. I mean, if you're listening to that album, you're pretty much listening to Quentin Miller. Just saying. Now, Kid Cudi went to Twitter and proceeded to take that dump that I told you guys about, and this is what he had to say. I need y'all to know I got so many haters within the industry these clowns know I'm about to crush their entire existence. Everybody thinks they're so great. Talking top five. Be having up to 30 people write their songs for them. Jesus. The days of the fuckery is over. The fake ones won't be lasting too much longer. I'm the one they worry about. Because they know I don't give a fuck about the corny shit they do. Then he says, my tweets apply to who they apply. Yay, Drake, whoever. These niggas don't give a fuck about me. And they ain't fucking with me. Then he goes on to say, niggas keep you close when they see how powerful you are by yourself. When they see your greatness out of fear. I've been loyal to those who who haven't been loyal to me, and that ends now. Now, I'm your threat. The sad part about this whole situation is that people don't care. You could be a rapper these days. You don't have to write your rhymes. You can have someone else write your rhymes. You can get all the fame, all of the money. And if it's banging, the fans don't care. <laughs> it's crazy. Back in the day, if Tupac or Big were caught with ghostwriters, it would have been over for them. But new age rap, I mean, people can't even understand what you're saying these days. So people, let alone, don't care if someone else is writing rhymes for you. But how does that make you feel that your favorite artists right now have 30 people writing for them? And that's from the words of Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi's saying this. He's saying, look, these guys get teams of people together. I've been around them both, and they have people write for them. It's been proven that Kid Cudi writes for Kanye West. It's been proven that Drake has ghostwriters. The difference between Meek Mill dissing Drake versus a Kid Cudi doing it, you're not going to see a rap battle between these two. We are going to see some records where these guys do reference each other, but that's where it's going to be. Kid Cudi is definitely going to have some things to say about Kanye West when it comes to his music coming forward. It's just, it's going to happen. Now, Kanye West, I don't know if he responded to this or if this was before this, but this is what Kanye West tweeted. I got rid of my phone so I can have air to create. Now, what's funny about that is like, how are you tweeting? You're saying you got rid of your phone so you can have air to create. <laughs> Kanye West is interesting, man. I'm, I don't know, man. He's able to freaking tweet without a phone. He can tweet from his brain. Like, this guy is, like, straight up on some Illuminati stuff. Like, Kanye West, whatever you're smoking, drinking, like, let me get some of that. Anyway, this is Diamonds Live. You guys have a great day. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Like, how do you guys feel about your favorite artists having 30 people 
writing for them. 